I'm Mr. Body Catcher, Slaughter Gang Soul Snatcher. Ain't no regular F1 fit, it's a fucking rapper. Yeah. No. A lot of people don't really look at moms when they're pretty much on the board of. I just felt as if I was suffocating on the inside. Um, having my kids to go stay with their dad was a challenge for me. Um, I remember always telling him, you will never, you know, get the boys for that long. And no, I can't be away from my babies. I need my babies with me at all times. Like, you can see them on the holidays, on weekends, but that's it. <laughs> They're going to stay with their mama. Um, and then I started going through some challenges with my health, um, my relationship, my job, my identity of who I was. Everything was just literally falling apart for the greater good, honestly. And I didn't know how to deal with that and raise kids because at that point, I didn't even, I didn't know how to take care of myself. And that was challenging for me because I felt like, how can you be a mom if you don't know how to raise your children? And I think the question that I should have asked myself, well, I know the question that I should have asked myself and that moment was, you know, are you okay with your kids seeing you fall apart completely and building yourself back up? Because there's no doubt in my mind that I know I'm a damn good mother. I'm a great mom. However, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect and to always show up to the point where I was running away and I just wanted to hide. I, I didn't want to show up anymore. And I didn't want to show up for my kids, for myself, for no one. Like, I literally just wanted to hide underneath a rock. And I just I started raving, waving flags. I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm done. I'm over it. Like, like I, I just, I wanted God to just take it all away. Like, just come get this. Come get me. Do, do whatever it is to get me to where I need to go so I can get over this. And I never have to face this cycle again. And... It took a lot of discipline within myself um, as far as developing myself every single day. But I had health issues that was going on and then relationship problems and then job problems and then boom, back to more health problems to back to relationship problems to back to job. And I, and I was just all over the place. and. How can you really show up for kids in those moments? And I think it's, I think it's kids when you are going through a lot of trauma back to back to back to back. And then you're trying to like figure out how to cope with it on top of dealing with drama from your relationship on top of everything else in life. I completely felt numb i was angry i was hurting so badly um i had a, a few i had some miscarriages and then that made me even more devastated because i felt like less of a woman because i'm like i can't even have a child like what's going on da, 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 da. and then i was diagnosed with ms and i was like well what the f is going on here <laughs> and i just remember like one day I was in my closet, my prayer closet. I would go in there and I had my therapy session with God and with my therapist. Like, I was in a closet. But I wanted to, I wanted to give up on myself. Um, and I, I stuck it out. Thank God, obviously I'm here. Um, I stuck it out. And I remember just praying to God and just literally crying and begging him to just take the pain away, to just take it all away just help me to find out my way you know guide me protect me and what I needed in that moment was um I really just needed to be alone and I chose to not have sex with anyone not date anyone not talk to anyone um and just be to myself um it, it was a struggle at first at first I was still angry and I was just like, it's not fair and da, 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 and I was just like shut up Okay, like, I get it. It's not fair what happened to me happened. It's not fair that I had to go through 
so much and I consider myself as a person who don't bother anyone, it's okay, you know? It's it's totally fine that I went through those hard times because they made me stronger. They helped me to become wiser. They helped me to become more sweeter and gentle and more loving and warming. And it helped me to tap into my uh, femininity so rapidly. And I just thank God for it because I wouldn't be... Um, just be patient with yourself. I never lived this life before, so I'm still trying to figure it out. This is my story, okay? Not yours, not your mama's, not your grandma, not my own kids. It ain't none of y'all's. It's mine's, okay? So you have to have that same mentality so you can move on through life when people are trying to stop you and tell you what you should and should not do. No one's story is the exact same. Everyone is unique in their own individual way. Everyone, if you allow yourself to be who you want to be, not what you saw on TV, chasing trends and social media, be yourself, you will be able to blossom into something that is so beautiful because it's your story, it's you, it's what you want to become. But I was looking at my kid's picture and that, that's how I got onto this topic here. It just made me realize everything I have went through and I'm like, dang, I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm, I, I really am proud of myself. You have some people who will beat themselves up. I'm not doing it no more. I quit my job because I felt like it was stressing me out. I went and started waitressing because I, I wanted quick, easy, fast money. And from every single person, I heard it from every single person who saw me dancing. They would always tell me, you don't belong here. You're better than this. And But I started dancing. I know that a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, you know, y'all put these stereotypes on, on these dancers. You don't even know the stories of these women and you judge them so fucking heavy. Like, really? <laughs> not every entertainer, not every dancer wants to steal your money, steal your man. Girl, we not focused on that, okay? There's more to me, but to me, how I felt in that moment was, this is me doing this because I personally want to do this. I choose to do this. I choose to get up there and do it. Dancing is something that I love to do. It is absolutely fun for me. However, when it comes to doing it for men, it's not so fun because I chose to, to walk down that path. I chose to do that. And that made me become even more stronger. That made me become more assertive. That helped me grow. That honestly helped me wipe the dust off my backbone, pretty much, you know? I had to be in a position where I felt uncomfortable in multiple occasions, but I had to learn how to speak up for myself. But I'm speaking, you know, to the mothers that's out there who are separated from their babies. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna get back up on your feet and you're gonna do well. You just have to make sure that you are not stuck in the past by focusing on the past. Let the past go. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't go back to the shoulda, coulda, woulda. If you learned your lesson before in the past, don't go back to the same lessons. Just move on, move forward, pray more, stay focused, you know. Once you focus on yourself and your own happiness and how you can heal yourself within, everything else starts to fall in place for you. I promise it does. You may have some obstacles that may come along the way, but just stay focused, you know, because in five months, in one week, I'll be back with my babies. And that's just that. I'll be back in full-blown mommy mode. Yeah. Too sexy yeah. to count. Yeah. Fitty.